It's a store. We gonna get some items? Over here! Ah! Don't worry. He may look like one of them, but you can trust him. He'll keep you safe. One of them? Look, just hide behind me, Mippity Mop. That should keep you out of eye shot. Oh, okay. By my valuation, she should be over here somewhere. Mippity Mop, where did you go? <laughs> Onward, wide body. Let us resume our search over that away. <laughs> ha! Ooh, I think we lost them. Um, thank you. Both of you. No, no, think nothing of it. You're Ryu Mimose, are you not? Oh, are you familiar with my work? Familiar nothing? We were at your big event at the Versailles. Oh my gosh, really? Wow, thank you so much! You idols sure do have it rough, though. Were those two idiots waiting in the shadows to harass you or something? No, 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 it's nothing like that. They weren't harassing me. Those people are fans who've come out to cheer me on, even though I'm still so new and inexperienced. Not harassers. Fans are harassers. It still looked like you were running for your life. That was just a little misunderstanding. It was all my fault. Wow. Taking the blame for being chased by your fans. You couldn't be a more picture-perfect idol if you tried. Oh, no, I'm not just saying that. I, I really mean it. Honest. <laughs> Still, it makes me so happy to hear you say something so nice about me. God, how can you be so cute? Excuse me, Asahi. I'm noticing a distinct difference between the way you address her and the way you address me. Well, duh. I'm starting to think I'm gonna have to stand in that handshake line tomorrow myself. Actually... Huh. Yesterday, it was right about now that we... Hmm... Hmm? What are you doing? Mippity Mop didn't come this way at all yesterday, did she? Which means... <sighs> Finally catching on, are you? Those two fans chasing her all the way out here worry me, though. It's very strange. Uh, sorry to interrupt you guys, but is something wrong? What? Wrong? No, oh, no, it's nothing, sorry. Just, you know, private. Now that I think of it, we might want to skedaddle. Good plan. There's a chance those two fans might double back this way. Why don't you let me see you off? B but I don't want to trouble you. Trust me, he'd be happy to. And though he's a neat, he knows Akihabara like the back of his hand. So no matter where you need to be, I'm sure that he'll get you there safely. Not sure if compliment or insult. Well, are you 100% sure it wouldn't be a bother? 200%. In fact, I'd be more bothered if I couldn't escort you back. Thank you so very much. So where exactly do you need to go? To Akihabara Station, if you don't mind. But if it's too far, you can just leave me right here. It's totally fine. Roger that. No matter where you need to go in Akihabara, I'll make sure that you get there safe and sound. I've never seen you so eager, Asahi.
in. And we're here. A little late to be asking this now, but are you sure you don't need us to escort you any farther? Oh, no, 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 this is fine. Thank you so very much. I take the train from here every day, so I'll be a-okay. You're so sweet and modest for an idol. What would you say to Big Sis Saki buying you some candy sometime? <laughs> I'd love that. Asahi, Saki, thank you both so much for taking care of me today. Ah, uh, an idol actually knows my name. Is now really the time for this, Asahi? Oh, and feel free to call me Ryu. Once again, thank you ever so much. From the very bottom of my heart. So, uh, is it okay that we just let her go like that? Yeah, I think we've done all we can for today. But these strange events are really perturbing. You mean Nippity Mop's behavior? Ryu's certainly a part of it. But her two pursuant fans and the still absent Megane Taro only deepen the mystery. I feel like we're getting close to cracking the case, though. Tomorrow, we will finally get our answers. Yo, Saki, why is this so much fun for you? Huh? It's just... I don't think most people would take the whole delusions encroaching upon reality thing so well. I guess I like it when my life isn't predictable. And you have to admit, nullifying delusions is pretty fun. Who'd want to go to school day in and day out anyway? And be the same as everyone else? It's boring. Wearing the same uniform as everyone else, doing the same things after school? I hated it. Then one day, I found a mysterious door. At first, I had no idea what I was looking at, but I went through anyway. And I met someone strange on the other side. Someone who taught me what I know now about the delusionscape, the delusions that inhabit it, and the necessity of nullifying it all. Regular people didn't understand. How could they? They couldn't even see it. Only a select few can nullify delusions. In my mind, it sounded like someone was saying,